What's up, Rody Footy? <laughs> Rody Footy. <laughs> Guys, I, 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 you've heard me say this a million times. I'm literally, I, I could be left on a deserted island, and I would have enough uh, craziness to keep me company. All right, so happy National Hot Dog Day. I was driving around. I was like, oh my God, you know what? We've never done Newport Creamery. Oh, it's starting to get thick down there. Hold on. Mm. Awful, awful. You know why? Because it's awfully good. So uh, Newport Creamery is just one of those places that if you live in Rhode Island, you went there as a kid. And um, it's just somewhere that it's like... I don't want to call it diner food, but it definitely has like a diner feeling because they still have um, like a, uh, you know, those diners where a waitress can go in or a server can go in rather and people are sitting around it like that and they can like see like 360 degrees around them. It has that type of feeling on it. But, you know, they have, they have, it's also a creamery too. So a bunch of different uh, ice cream choices. They have this very unique drink that I've never had anywhere else called awful awful and they don't use like regular ice cream they use like their own proprietary oh my god i said that word right the first time they grow up so fast guys i'm so wicked smart um and uh i'm not gonna say the word again but they have it and it's like i can't explain it it's like it's almost malty like um I don't know. It just has a different flavor. They use like, like, they use their own blend, and it's like a like ice milk. I don't know. It's really, but anyways, you can get it however you want. I usually get strawberry banana because that's how I roll. But uh, I'll tell you what I actually got. Here we go, guys. Down the hatch. National Hot Dog Day. Growing up, hot dogs was my jam. I got some chili cheese. Jump off here. Nice New England roll. They hooked it up with a nice sear. Look at this. Look at that. All right, here we go, guys. Happy National Hot Dog Day. Let me know where you're gonna get your dog today from. Let's just go down the hatch, chip it. Mmm. I've never used this before. I'm being way too fancy right now. Mm. Do me a favor, fam. Like, comment, subscribe. We're almost like, oh my God, dude. We're so close to like 6,000. It's insane. Also, part of this video, fam... We're gonna do a quick unboxing of some of the things that I got uh, from Amazon for some of the camping and, and uh, outdoor adventures we're gonna be doing very, very soon on this channel. All right, here we go. Give me about 30 seconds, guys. All right. Mm. Chili cheese dog, what, raw onions? If you go on a first date, get this. Ladies, order this. The guy's going to look at you like, oh my God. My soulmate has arrived. <laughs> when I was in the dating scene, I loved going out with girls that would actually eat on a date. I was like, heck yeah. And sometimes, there was a couple times where they out ate me. And they were like 10th of my size. I was like, where the heck? Where the heck does this food go? Is that like Camilla? She eats like a maniac. I know that. But Camilla eats like throughout the day. Mm. I don't know why I just dipped that in ketchup. But when in Rome. Mmm. Make sure you guys go out, support our local dog hot dog place. 
If you don't have one, then go support hot dogs in general because they're amazing. All right, so the awful awful. Closest to it is a shake. As you can tell, I've already been uh, I've already been dipping my toes in the pool. So the guy looks at me and he goes, "We don't have any more bananas." Sir, I've been in Rhode Island for way too many years. Probably before you were even born. I was like a high school kid working. What are you talking about? There's no bananas. I can go to Stop and Shop right now. Go get some bananas. So he said, you know what some people do is that they, they get um, strawberry Oreo. And in my head, I'm going, you know what? I don't know. And then I decided to go for it because I'm having, guys, today was a day at one of my jobs, man. Oh. I was like, you know what? <laughs> About to put in my two weeks. Which job am I talking about? Nobody knows. I have like three jobs. But I was, I almost put in my, my two weeks notice today, guys. Like, I was like, man, the heck is going on here? But that's as far as I'm going to tell a story because I have coworkers on this channel. <laughs> They're going to be like, hey, I think they're just talking about our workplace. I'll never tell. But a part of me does want to just throw my hands up in the sky, guys. And just, you know what? We're hitting the road, baby. Two weeks notice. Done that. What should we do <laughs> while we're on the topic? What should be a two weeks notice mukbang guys give me an idea for a two weeks notice mukbang and then a mukbang for the last day of work actually i think the last day of work should probably be um alive let's do one of those what the heck is not letting me all right guys see this is the problem it's it's so thick We're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to do it manually. Mm. So I'm being serious. Let me know some ideas, guys. Two weeks notice, McBang. And then alive. Where should we go? What's a good, uh, I just quit my job. meal i know part of you are like dude go all out and some of you are like dude you better save your pennies i've got a recession coming better be a dollar menu live mm. happy national day you beautiful little Mystery meat. Mm. You know, I have some people like, they're like, do you know what hot dogs are made of? I'm like, no, I don't want to know either. But it's like everything else. Like you have these farmers that like, <clears throat> want to know how to, how to skin a, a, a chicken and cut it up? No! Let me know when you're done in it, done with it, grill it, put that bad boy in between some bread, and let's have some chicken sandwiches, or pound the hell out of it really thin, bread it, and put some uh, some uh, some gravy on it, right? That's what Rhode Islanders call uh, pasta sauce. Um, and let's let's make it happen. I don't want to know how things are done. There's certain things in life, guys, that ignorance is a little bliss. Done that. Can you tell I'm stressed today? 
Yeah, not my food. Got some ketchup. Bar. Try to think of a video that we haven't done on this channel. Oh my god. I think I have an idea. Just because I love their margaritas. Guys, if or whenever I do decide to ever, which I'm not planning to, I have three jobs. Which one am I talking about? I think I have the perfect place. There's a place in Rhode Island called Twin Oaks. It's been around forever. They serve like huge portions, huge chicken parms, huge lobster salad rolls, salad like sandwich rolls. But they have this golden margarita that just from the very first sip, it just hits you differently. You go like this. Obviously I love salt on the rim. You take it like this, you go, and then from there, it's just this magical power that just go through. It goes through your scruples, into your soul, into that area over here. It just it tickles the heart, and then it just takes over your whole soul. And that's how good the margaritas are there. Just saying. All right. Happy now. This is a weird video. Happy National Hot Dog Day. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Let's do a quick unboxing. So, every pay period, guys, what I do is I go on Amazon. I look at the list. Some of you guys have sent me some really good ideas. Thank you so much. And I've been getting, like, camping equipment. Do I have any food in my... You guys don't tell me? Remember the torta? All right, we don't talk about. All right, first things first, this bad boy came in. This is the Olympia Fit set of three towels. So the reason I got these is when going camping, I'm probably only going to carry one of them, but that's kind of cool, right? Real, real compact, small. Comes with this really cool bag. I picked red, but this looks more like pink or magenta, which is fine. Roman uh, love color. So the reason I got these is because they're microfiber. Oh my God, this is like super protected. Oh, that is soft, baby. Oh, that's so soft. So a lot of folks that live van life or go camping get something like this because one, it's super soft. Two, super absorbent. There's three sizes in here, by the way. Oh, that is so cool. That's part of it. They think of everything. But there's three sizes of it. I'm not going to roll it up because it looks so pretty before that I want to be able to do this again. Um, there's three sizes of it. And again, it's super soft, super absorbent, but it's also like... It's synthetic, so... Bad boy back in there. So it dries really fast. So you just wring it out and it's super like fast drying. I don't think it's uh, synthetic, but um, it's it just dries really fast. So that works beautifully when you're camping. And oh, here we go. We're learning this together. I have so much to learn, guys. All right, quick dry, lightweight, mega absorbing, extra thin, ultra compact for the gym, beach, yoga, camping, travel, pool, fitness. This girl has one. I'm sold. She's got a nice, uh, who's camping in jean shorts, though? I don't know, man. Maybe she's not hiking the Appalachian Trail. Maybe it's like a short trip. Um, so I'm excited about those, guys, because I wanted something small. Because you obviously you can't take a huge towel with you, like a traditional towel. There's just nowhere to hang it. It's not going to dry. It's going to take forever to dry. You just can't. It just doesn't make, just doesn't make sense. So I'm excited about that guy. 
and there was a bunch of different colors and i was like everything i have is black man let's get some let's start getting some popping colors son so excited about that next thing down the hatch this thing is kind of open weird oh they just have to keep it in a bag i got it okay so this is I get a lifetime warranty. Machine cold, machine wash cold, delicate cycle, do not bleach, tumble dry low. Uh, that's what I do on all my clothes. So that is okay. All right. So let's get rid of that. So this thing right here is a sleeping bag liner, which adds to your R value, which I'm starting to learn about. It, it's how much um, it keeps you insulated and keeps you nice and toasty so the reason a lot of folks use uh uh sleeping uh sleeping bag liners is one keep the bag clean two it adds r value so it adds warmth it keeps you contained like a little uh like a little taquito and then secondly is if you're if you're if you're camping and you end up sleeping at a hostel one night or or at a hotel this a lot of people lay this down Cause they're like, I'm not getting no bug bites. I don't know, this is some, this is a shady city. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to get bit. So, uh, this just had a bunch of different features, and I was just like, that's a no-brainer. If you guys want to know the prices and all that stuff about, uh, just leave me a message down below, and I'll, I'll send you a link, or I'll look it up for you. I'll look it up in my Amazon um, uh, situation orders. There you go. Lupe, you eat two hot dogs and you don't have a brain. All right, and then the big boy is this. So by the way, uh, I'm saving the big three for later on, guys. What are the big three? That is a sleeping bag, uh, a tent, and a sleeping bag, a tent, and a backpack. Those are the three that, those three are what's gonna cost the most. It's gonna cost more than everything else put together. Uh, because when you do a lot of long distance hiking or you're gonna end up just uh, doing a lot of camping, it's you have to, it's just one of these hobbies where it, you, you have no choice but to buy uh, the really durable, expensive stuff. <sighs> and obviously, can you go with like just a regular duffel bag? Yes but not the type of camping where you have to be ultra light uh, because you're gonna be carrying around 20, 30 pounds uh, for a long, long time. It's gonna be horrible on your back, knees, hips, everything else. So this guy right here, pretty light. This is a sleeping pad. So this is one of them that I wanted to try out. I don't know if you guys can see right there. Boop, boop, boop. Um, this was this was one of the budget friendly versions and it wasn't that heavy. So I was like, you know what? Let me buy it um, Push comes to shove If it's too heavy, which it's not this is super freaking light if it becomes uh, If I end up wanting to upgrade I will upgrade and I can just use this back in the car camping right or whenever we decide to get our van um, But I mean it's it's made out of like really good material you know, once we start doing uh, camping videos and uh, even car camping videos, I'll blow this up and kind of give you guys a full, uh, a nice little full review on it. But uh, it's two inch thick, lightweight. It's less than a pound. It's 0 0.90 pounds, heavy duty. It says it will never leak. That's a big, uh, you got a big boy laying on it. Uh, lifetime warranty. So any issues, I can send it back. That was another thing that I, that I was looking for. On Amazon, guys, you have to read the descriptions. So on Amazon, I always try to look for like lifetime warranties or 10 year warranties. Or if you notice that a lot of the same things just have a two year warranty, then you go, okay, that's that's par for the course. We'll just do, go ahead and do that. But yeah, fam, excited about that. Sleeping bag, sleeping liner. We got some uh, uh, super lightweight absorbent uh, towels. That's this week's haul. I'll wait a couple more weeks for my next paycheck and we'll buy some more stuff. All right, guys, I love you so much. Go enjoy some hot dogs and let me know about that mukbang idea. Actually, no, we just decided we're, we're going to go. We're going to do Twin Oaks live at Twin Oaks and we're going to order a big lobster roll. And we're going to have two or three margaritas. Whew, that's going to that's going to be an Uber day. 
or someone's driving me home. We'll figure it out anyways. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're like a couple hundred away from like 6,000 subscribers. Insane in the membrane. Insane. Got no brain. Take care of each other. Um, oh, my God. I'm, uh, <laughs> my mind's all over the place. That's the last part, Lupe. Be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Ciao. Oh, and go check out Alex's uh, short. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do, guys. Um, if you guys want to send me in wearing your Roadie Foodie merch, I'll put you in a Roadie Foodie short, and we'll have some fun. All right, guys? Ciao.